Hey guys, before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know that the game has been updated since the creation of this video. The th video was recorded on patch 2.0, I believe, and the game is currently on patch 3.0. As far as I know, the new patch introduced a new game mode and new maps, and the price of the game was reduced from $20 to $10. If you guys are interested in buying the game, make sure to head over to www.ninjabiotis.net slash minimum. There you'll be able to buy the game and register for it, and help me unlock armors and weapons in the process. Hey, what's up, my beautiful people? My name's Nick, in case you did not already know. Uh, today we're going to be playing some Minimum. And Minimum is actually the name of the game. So, don't get confused when I say uh, we're going to be playing Minimum. I don't know why they named it Minimum. I don't think it's a really amazing name. But, you know, it's kind of kind of mysterious, I guess. Anyways, uh, Minimum is a super fun game that sort of combines MOBA, creep killing, Nexus... I can't even explain it, like, I'm having a hard time coming up with words because this is such a unique game that it's really hard to describe what it is. So let's just get into it. I'm going to explain a little bit how the equipment works and stuff like that. So um, here are just my loadouts. Uh, nothing really important. I'm going to explain it later on. So in the game, on top here, at uh, the top right of my screen, in case you can't see my mouse, those are my resources. Um, and essentially, you, you, you do quests. Uh, you play missions, you, you, I mean, you play matches, and you gain resources that you can then spend on blueprints. And you can craft weapons once you, after buying the blueprint, for example, let's unlock, let's see, grenade launcher, unlock. And then, uh, da -da -da -dum, grenade launcher's over here, and I don't have enough materials to craft it, but uh, once I get more, I can craft it, and then I can go in my loadouts and equip it. Every gun has different things that I will explain later on. They all have different abilities. Uh, the left click is going to have, you know, the shooting ability, and then the right click is going to have a special ability to go with it that I will explain later on. And then you have, you know, um, devices. So that's basically your grenade. Uh, instead of throwing a grenade, you can change the type of grenade you want to throw. You can place a mine, and you can also use minigun turrets, which I'm supposed to already have unlocked, but um, I guess they changed it recently anyways so let's go back to my loadouts here you click on blueprints you can see your armors now the thing about armors is basically you equip your character right you wanna you buff up your character with armors and almost every armor in the game is going to give you a bonus but it's also going to remove something at the same time so icarus leg gives you a uh, double jump so you can jump twice but you regenerate health a lot slower uh, berserker helmet which is my favorite one you deal five percent more damage but you take ten percent more damage let's just Show you one last one so you can sort of understand how the game works. Um, this one deal okay, that's okay. Yeah, this one you deal five percent more damage, but you have ten percent less health. So you gain a small buff and then you lose a little bit at the same time. So that's sort of how the game balances out uh, in terms of armor. Weapons aren't usually like that. Let's go look at the loadouts. Um, actually, instead of showing you the loadouts individually uh, for all the guns I have bought, we're just gonna get into a game and I'm gonna explain every weapon as I use them. And I think that's going to be a lot more fun. So there's two game modes in this game. There's Team Deathmatch and there is Titans. But I do not believe you can create your own lobby and, you know, choose a specific game mode. You're, so far, you're randomly placed in one or the other game mode. The community of this game is really small, so I often... Uh, so I often... Oh, the match just started, right? Now, that's perfect. So this is a map that's actually really good for snipers. Let's grab a sniper in this map. Let's get some armor, retro helmet, then you can see it on my character, new armor. Oh, it looks so cool! You can see it, this guy has a plasma launcher, he's uh, he's like humping the wall, I don't know. It's a new strat, it's pretty MLG. Anyways, the sniper I have is a very unique sniper. This is how you zoom, there's no like circle around it. Um, oh shit, I missed. That's okay, I got an assist. So melee weapons and grenade launchers are pretty OP in this game. I think they're all bots. I think these guys are all bots. God damn it. Oh shit. Eh. I suck. I, I suck at this game, okay? Don't judge me. But that does not prevent me from enjoying this game. Even though I suck. Ah! Die, you piece of shit. There you go. I got him, finally. Okay, so the specialty of this sniper is it doesn't kill in one shot, but
but the bullets are going to slow your opponent, which makes it really easy for you to land their second shot. Uh, I say really easy, but um, I suck, so I can't land any shot. So because the community is really small, it happens every now and then that you're placed... Oh shit, oh, I shouldn't be talking here. It happens every now and then that you're placed in matches that have bots. Like right now, you can see that the, all their score is entirely zeros. That's because everyone on the enemy team, except for Clockwork Cal, because he has a ping, uh, is a bot. So I guess everyone on my team is a bot as well. What the hell? It's fucked up. So it's it's pretty much co-op versus AI right now, um, which is great because I'll be able to uh, demonstrate some of the weapons. So this one is a shotgun, you know, you can see it. It shoots normally, but the right click ability is a jump. So you can do some really sick tricks, just jumping all over the place. Uh, and the sniper right click ability is just the zoom, so nothing really special. Uh, the enemy team destroyed our titan. I'm going to go show you the titans. And these guys are the titans right here. You can see him a little bit. You have to stop him and, and prevent him from um, getting to your base. If the titan gets to your base, you lose. So you got to kill the enemy titan. And then later on, you're going to have to farm minions to empower your own titans. So it's not all about killing. I played matches where I went 20 and 0. You know, 20 kills and I never died, and I still lost the match because you gotta you gotta really focus on objective in this game. Getting kills alone isn't good, and right now we're gonna go farm some creeps. They're gonna start uh, spawning. Killing Creep creeps is gonna empower detected. your um. Uh, killing creeps is gonna empower your uh. Shit, shit! I suck. Eh. I missed. I'm gonna get wrecked. Uh, God damn it. I'm gonna use my right click ability, although it does nothing in here. And I got an assist. Great. Casting bitch. Okay, these are the creeps that you gotta kill. Then you pick up this stuff, and it's gonna empower your character. Uh, because you can later on use this stuff to buy armor. When you kill enemies or you kill turrets, they drop these blue things, and by picking it up, your gun gains a level. At the bottom right of the screen where you see the weapon and the ammo and stuff, you can see uh, squares. And the squares represent the level of your gun. So the more kills you get, like, look at his fire swords. That's because he got like 3-4 kills, I think, with the katana. The more kills you get, the more damage you do with your weapon, and you gain, your weapon gains bonus stuff. So it's the equivalent of getting fed in MOBA games, essentially. Instead of buying item, you just become a big brute. So, right now we gotta make our Titan strong. Oh god, it hurts! Good thing they're, they're bots, because if these guys were real players, I'd get fucked. So, as you can see, shotguns are pretty weak. Uh, plasma launchers and... Um, plasma launchers and katanas are the strongest. I'm going to have to let myself die soon so I can switch weapon loadout and show you guys the strength of some other weapons. Uh, God, die you piece of shit. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to let myself die here. And let's switch to a rifle and a katana so I can show you guys what it's like. I think players started. Nope, no players joined my team. I don't think so, anyways. There is a player on the enemy team, though, because you can actually see he died a few times. So, this is the Titan. You gotta shoot him down. Uh, as you can see, real players don't do a lot of. I mean, real players, the rifle doesn't do a lot of damage to the Titan. Although, there are some weapons that are meant to deal more damage to Titans, and I believe there are armors that make you deal more damage to Titans. So, uh, yeah, so this is the katana. Right clicking with the katana does this. Different katanas have different abilities, and right clicking with the rifle does a triple burst like that, which is much more accurate. But, uh, the enemy has destroyed so rifles are pretty good. Rifles, like, they, they don't do like an insane amount of damage, but they're, they're accurate, they're strong. Shit, we're getting wrecked right now. After this, I'm going to switch to Plasma Cannon to show you guys that. God. This guy's just... This fucking Titan. Please die. Please don't destroy our wall. It's 
Tekken Titans right here. This is the Great Wall, and it's like a Titan. Wall Maria, I think. Is that an enemy? He's just chilling there in front of me. Okay, so I got I pulled out my katana, raped the shit out of that guy. Now you see I have two katanas instead of just one. Smacking the shit out of this titan. Will you move? God damn it. I can't believe I I couldn't move. Anyways, I was glitched. So now I've got the plasma launcher. Which this is pretty cool. I mean it's are we gonna lose already? No, we lost. So once a Titan gets to your base, uh, you lose. Then get to show off uh, the plasma cannon, which is unfortunate, but uh, you know, no big deal. It was a match full of bots, so I kind of feel stupid for losing, but I feel like I can't blame it on bots and get away with it, so uh, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to get into a new match in a few seconds, and then I'll explain. I'll show off the plasma launcher and then call it a day. Whew, I gotta stop and breathe. I've been talking so much. Ugh, I'm so tired. It's like 1 a.m. here. Okay, I think other players started joining. Pretty sure Jag is a player. Kind of hope so. Okay, so the plasma cannon is OP. This time we're gonna start with leg armor. These are the legs that make you double jump. So I think that's gonna be pretty good with... Uh, Oh shit, I'm getting shot by some guy. Come on, Plasma Cannon, Tempai. Assist. God. These bots can't even carry me. And then they steal my kills. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here. Never Ned. I know that guy. I played against him a few times. This is what I mean when the community is small. This is why I want, you know, more people to get the game and, and experience for themselves how fun this game is. Okay, launchers OP. I agree. Launchers are indeed OP along with Katanas. Come on. Why is this guy still alive? Am I just that bad? There we go. Holy shit, that took a long time. He's not even he's not even moving. I'm just like I don't know. Anyways, uh so the special ability of launchers is that you shoot and then you can change your, the direction of the projectile like that. So it's pretty epic, but no one really uses it because launchers just, you know, you don't really need to aim even though I, I'm not proving that point right now. Uh you don't really need to aim. So this match is purely team deathmatch. There's no titans, there's no uh mining or anything like that so you just run up towards enemies you kill them come on you piece of shit oh I, I thought I killed him come on die you bitch oh where did he go where did he go shit okay let's let's fight this guy oh I gotta gain some distance. Boom! No! No! Yeah! Fuck you! I, I hate myself for doing that because of launchers being so OP. But sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to look for enemies without getting myself into trouble. I'm trying to stay from my, my curl. I, 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 I want to stay at a safe distance from other people. Uh, oops. Like I sort of explained earlier, the materials you gain on the ground from killing people help you uh, empower your character. So now I can actually unlock more armor and make myself more powerful. I'm going to go for Knight's Chest, which is going to increase my health while reducing my movement speed. Yo, this guy. How are you still alive? Come on, I, I'm not the one who's missing, right? I feel like that hit him every time. Oh shit! That's a turret. I, I just threw a th turret at him, so he should be dying soon. Nope, not even. Well, he is now. Uh, now I am at max level. 
And as you can see, every time you level up, your animation changes a little bit. Now it's purple, because I'm at max level. So you can also see that on your opponents. Like, he has the fire katana, so he's like level 3 or 4. I don't know what level exactly he's at, but... I got an assist. Nice. I can't even see where I'm shooting. Avenge. Nice, I got a guy. Somehow. Not even OP. Uh, oh god. Shit. I'm kind of glad he killed me because that was a really bullshit weapon. Let's switch back to the rifle for a little bit. Uh, the match is going to end soon, so... Um, rifle katana is a pretty good combination. I could just actually run with the katana and uh, probably kill a few people, I think. The dash ability just allows you to close the gap, and then you can kill people in like two shots. Oh god. Oh god, that was a mistake. Oh, get out, get out. Jump, jump, jump. More. Uh. Oh, I lived. That was a mistake. Okay. Let's, let's do a little bit of parkour. Fuck that. I don't know this map. I think it's I think they released this map recently. Like, that's another thing about this game. There's like it updates uh a lot really often. I think once a week, like they have live streams every Fridays or something. And then you can watch a live streams, so you can start talk to the developers and you can uh see what's new. Nice, I got a guy in the back trying to get the other one. I'm trying to get the other one before I dive. No, he killed me. No. There was a guy with the katana right behind me, so I'm trying to get him before uh, getting killed by the guy with the katana. Damn it, I shouldn't have jumped because I just lost so much uh, accuracy by jumping. Ah, we lost by five kills. Damn, GG. Ah, oh, I forgot to type it. Oh well. This is actually a pretty cool map. Hmm. But I mean, I gotta end the video soon, so... I'm just gonna show off this map and then end it. Because I don't want it to last, you know, like an hour. But yeah, that's minimum. Uh, essentially, the main game mode is the Titans. You wanna kill creeps, power up your Titans, and that's the fun thing, because... Like I said, it's, it's really objective-focused. I killed a lot of people... But I forgot to complete the objective, so I didn't, like, I actually lost the match. As you saw earlier, even though I killed a few people against bots, uh, I still lost it. I'm going to try a different gun that I haven't shown you guys already. This one is called Rail Sniper, and you can not zoom with it, but it's supposed to do more damage. So we're going to try it out and see if that's true. You can not zoom, it's supposed to do more damage, and I suck at aiming, so I smell failure. Seems like people are already here, shooting and shit. Oh, I just got a guy that's sniping in the back, I think. Ah, come on. Come on, come on, you piece of shit. I'm, it's so hard! I got him, I got him. I hit him, but he's not dead. Come on. Come on, no! Fuck. It's so hard. I don't feel like it's worth uh, sacrificing the zoom for this weapon. It doesn't feel like it does that much damage. But apparently they're going to fix like how damage is calculated on snipers and stuff. Snipers and uh, shotguns and things like that. Just to make it uh, more accurate and... Uh, yeah, I mean, this game is still in early access, so it's kind of normal that not everything is perfect and that sometimes it might be glitchy and might have some overpowered weapons and things like that, but, you know, what are you going to do about it? Oh yeah, the Titans change every map. This one's a sumo. Really cool. Come on. I know I can kill him. Yeah! The enemy destroyed by Titan. What? What is our team doing? 
Holy shit. That just happened. That just- <laughs> Holy shit. I have never seen that before. That just fucking happened. Holy crap. Are we gonna lose this already? Okay, no, I forgot we had walls. You also have turrets on the side. Uh, I don't know where they are. Somewhere. There's, there's turrets somewhere that are, like, shooting him. Shooting this side and down. Or trying to, at least. I have a sniper, so it's extremely slow. But yeah, I feel like this is the game that could uh, be like an esport game because there's a lot of teamwork that could go into it. Uh, there's some classes or some armors and weapons that are more supportive. And some things are more offensive. Like you have some shotguns that uh, stun people, I think. Other shotguns uh, do more damage. Wow, my turret got a kill and then I sniped the guy. And got a kill. So now the creeps have spawned. Oh, you bitch! You piece of shit. No, I got I want to kill this guy. Yeah, fuck you. Who's chasing me? Ah! Ah! Yes! Oh shit! I forgot. This is not happening. Okay, I'm gonna have to end the video soon. Oh, some people farming creeps. Ah, come on, let me kill him. Or at least they can kill him and give me an assist. God damn it, I suck. Ah, uh, yeah, I got an assist. Okay, that's, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Anyways, uh, I'm going to have to end this video before it takes too long. Hope you guys enjoy it. This game is insanely fun. Um, if you want to play this game, make sure to check out uh, ninjavitas.net slash minimum. Sorry, ninjavinus.net slash minimum if you want to play this game and it's going to help me unlock armor, it's going to help me unlock weapons, and like I said, this game is insanely fun. You should buy it or, you know, at least, I don't know, try it out or something. It's $20 early access, so you might not enjoy it, but I love it. It's, it's amazing. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.